sun is shining. Sun is shining and I'm gonna get out there on the bike and make the most of it. Hey kids. Hello. Hey. Hello. You'd probably eat my hand, wouldn't you? You'd eat my glove if you could. Hey. I know I'm scary. That looks like a yummy meal you got there. Yeah. You're enjoying that, aren't you? All right, get back to munching. The cheer squad is awake. Morning. Okay, so we're on our ride. It's a beautiful view out there. There's the city of Adelaide, way over there. It's good to see there's so many trees down there, actually. It's not just a big concrete jungle. Hey Freebirds, it's Freely Banana Girl here. Welcome to another vlog. So I just got off the bike and seriously the sun is shining here. It is a beautiful, beautiful day and I'm really looking forward to today. I'm running a little bit late. I've got to get the princess neat. We're going to go out and I'm just about to blend up this banana smoothie. It's got bananas and it's got coconut sugar, coconut water, normal water, vanilla drops. It's going to be yummy. So I will see you soon. I'll see you in the car. Okay, so we're on our way to Princess Neats. We're nearly there. The sun is shining. It is so beautiful, folks. I love when the sun is out. I know it's going to be a great day because the sun is out. And, you know, I haven't seen it for about a week. But it's just so important, the sun, for a feel-good factor and just toasty warm. And I want to just get on straight on to the Q&A section today. I'm going to call it Speak Freely. I think it was Ashley in the comments who suggested Speak Freely. So, hi, Ashley. It's a great name. Thank you. Um, instead of fruit bat chat or frequently asked question, which was also awesome, but I think this is more appropriate. So speak freely. Freely's going to speak freely right now. And the first question, the one that I've got quite often lately is why are some of the raw food teachers gaining weight on fruit? Why are they getting fat on fruit? And um, why is Christina gaining all this weight freely? You know, like she used to be slim and now she's gaining weight on fruit. Um, I thought fruit didn't make you fat. Okay, that's something that I've got off a number of people lately and I'm going to share my opinion on that today. So Christina contacted me previously distressed at her weight gain saying, you know, what's going on basically, what do I do, I need some tips. And I've noticed some things that Christina has done over the past couple of years that have definitely contributed to her weight gain. Okay, and those things being watermelon juice feasting, green green juice feasting, juice feasting in general, uh, water fasting, which Christina's done as well in the last couple of years, um, going to bed at about 3 a.m. in the morning, every single morning, it's going to raise your cortisol levels and you're, most, you're more likely to become a fat storer. Okay, and I, I told her this at the time, you know, it's, it's just such, a, you know, if your body is not going to trust you if you fuck with it, seriously. If you stuff with it so much that you start depriving it of sleep, depriving it of calories, it's gonna jump back and it's gonna punch you in the face and go, nah, we, this is not okay. You better stop stuffing with me and you better start giving me abundance. And abundance means feeding your body all the calories it needs, a fiber-filled calories, not doing these silly juice feasts or juice cleansers or water fasting. And you might say, oh, I'm doing water fasting for healing. I'm telling you, it's not a healing modality when you are forcing your starvation on your body. You're forcing it to starve. You have to remember that, okay? Healing takes time. It's not something you can rush. It's not something you can do a two-week water fast, a month, one month water fast, and heal your problems that you've had for years, that you've had developing in your body for years. It just does not work that way. And the body will tell you off. The body will punish you by, you know, ruining your metabolism basically you know your metabolism gets lowered you get metabolic damage and then that takes even more years to recover trust me I went through it myself I've done the juice feasting I did the water fasting at the, at the start of my journey and the following year I was fatter than ever and I've seen this without fail in every female that has done water fasting they've become fatter and held fluid more readily after their water fast, whether it's been a couple of months or even a year later. The metabolism, it will catch up, I'm telling you. Like, it will catch up that damage that you have done. You have to pay that debt back, guaranteed. So, 
is Christina getting fat on fruit? She's not getting fat on fruit, okay? It's not the fruit's fault. The fruit is just, you know, they're doing its thing, nourishing the body. But if we have a damaged metabolism, then sure, the body and the brain is gonna like hold on to the calories, saying, oh, are we gonna be fasting again? Are we gonna be in a famine again anytime soon? We better hold that nutrition in our body, just in case. And if you remember, Christina in 2011 or so was really skinny, very, very skinny. And that was a, re a result of doing the juice feasting and, you know, and water fasting. So it's just, it's like this rubber band effect. It's gonna happen, it's going to happen. But please do not blame the fruit. We all lead different lifestyles. We make mistakes and we damage our metabolism when we have to be patient and heal that. Healing takes time. It took years for me on this lifestyle, years and years. But you know what? I feel so freaking good now. I feel so healed up and oh, I just can't wait for you to feel that too. I honestly can't. And I promise that is in your future. But stay on track. Don't starve yourself. Fixie's just staring at me here. <laughs> Don't starve yourself, okay? You cannot get to health via starvation, via deprivation. Health and healing comes through abundant living. All right, that's my rant for today. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I hope that inspires you and just makes you realize that this is a journey to health and health takes time, patience, loving yourself and loving yourself means feeding yourself enough at the end of the day. So we wish like Fixie could stay here with me. Yeah, hey. of course. I knew we'd take her in a heartbeat. Absolutely. But let's have a look outside. And we've got these beautiful. It's just big dogs. Yeah. How much do they weigh, do you think? Um, about 35 each. About 35 kilos. And how much does Fix weigh? Um, less than five. <laughs> so, hmm. I'm so over people saying, why isn't she with me? I, I love her. Yeah. Like she's my own child. Don't people think we considered that? Like that was the first thing we thought about? Obviously, she loves me and I love her, but. Yeah, and you would take her like that. What, but... six weeks with two huge dogs and three cats? Yep, three. Mm. The cats is one of the kitties. Little kitties? Maybe not so much. No, not so much. No. Figsy would just lose it. Yeah. It's fine for a visit. Yeah. I mean, you're here as well, yeah. and the dogs are outside. Exactly. But it'd be just too distressing for her. And you have to work. It's like... That's right. Oh, what's in the chaos? Are you living the daydream yet? Are you living the daydream? Are you living the daydream now? You say you have a shaking faith. Cry and cover up your face. I don't want to watch you die. So listen up and start to fly. So here we are, about to feast. Hello. And these green juice, this is a green juice and um, neat made. Yes. Pre princess made. Yes. What's it got in it? Um, it's got a spinach and mizuna, which is a spicy Asian green for everybody who asks me. Every oh, time. that is nice, mizuna. Pear, apple, so it's really sweet. Yeah. Cucumber, celery, and lemon. Oh, yummy. See, and like I know I was talking about green juices before. I don't have an aversion to green juices. Like I like having them occasionally, but when they become start becoming a meal, mm. you know, and like a regular or juice feasting, that's just no. doesn't work for the metabolism. We don't believe in starvation. No abundance. Absolutely abundance. Abundance all the way. And bananas. We have dry bananas from Thanks, Mum. Mummy Banana Girl. And got some yep. dry bananas. Yes. We've got some organic oranges. Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Yeah. Oh, big Z. A little Fixie. What are you going to have, Fixie? <laughs> we'll hopefully not a nervous breakdown. Oh, yeah, hopefully. That would be great. How about... We give her a little bit. A little bit of dry banana. That's really nice. Oh, yep. I'm wearing half of it. She's but... into it. Good. 
that kidnapping. We have the valiant warrior. <laughs> no, I just did a hard ride, didn't you? 84 k's, 84 in the hills, folks. Yeah. Figs is welcoming you. <laughs> the naming of Victor Harbour. There you go, folks. In 1837, HMS Victor anchored in the lee of Granite Island. The lee. What does that mean? The corner. The corner. Is that what it means? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Francis Crozier named the locality Victor Harbour after his ship. To celebrate the centenary of the event. A commemorative plaque was fixed to a large granite boulder located on Granite Island, east of this point. What are you wearing today? What am I wearing? Something fabulous. Yes, I've got nice hairy legs. Got your good kick, mohair type. Yeah. I like the jacket. Yeah, I love this jacket. And this one. Ooh, this is a it's fabulous. I like that. Goes well with the hat. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So this is beautiful. What yeah. are you saying? So from this point here, yep. apart from the little island we can see out in there. Just out here. So apart only, from this little island we yeah, see out here. About half a K away. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing between us and the South Pole. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Nothing between us and the South Pole. Look at that. Wow. Umbrella rock boots. Beautiful. A rock hugger. Yes. Tree hugger turned into a rock hugger. Yeah, there. Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful canopy, old tree. Probably thousands of years old. We're posing for a video. Hundreds of years old. You pose for videos. Yeah. Pose for videos. Videos are meant for action, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Look Oops. at this amazing Beautiful. tree. Looks old, doesn't it? It does look old. We just want yep. to climb it. Yep. This is so smooth. So you've got all this canopy here that's just beautiful. the tree's fallen over at some stage and it's just laid on the ground Again. and it's formed this beautiful canopy. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, one leg at a time. <laughs> oh good, there we go. Now now we are posing for the, <laughs> oh, the action shot. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> we got action. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. It was nice meeting you. Nice, nice to meet you. So you like live around here? Or? Go look yeah. at me. Run, 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 run. Ah, she's heading back this way. <laughs> No, Vixie, hello, darling. Go to mummy. Oh, there she is. Hey, oh, wow. hello. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Big and muddy. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. I hope you've got a towel or something. <laughs> Cry and cover up your face. I don't want to watch you die. Listen up and start to fly Live in a daydream Where angels like the weary eye The daydream Will finally bring you to the light Daydream So what are you doing here? I'm just going to blend it a little bit Not too much We're going to have a sort of semi-chunky Creamy yeah. pumpkin. Oh, that looks amazing already. Yeah. Okay, we're having oh. soup. Oh, jeez, I nearly fell over. Um, yeah, no, no. Yeah. yeah no. We've had a great day, haven't we, Nigel? Absolutely fantastic. perfect. Yeah. So good. It's been awesome. Sensational. We've been all around the countryside. Yes. Yep. Heaps of adventures. Yep. And we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Oh, well, you might not be in tomorrow's, but we'll see. Don't you love these folks? Like, <laughs> nah, so good, eh? lucky to have them as buddies. Yep. The feeling is most mutual. Absolutely. Don't forget to go fruit. Oh, reach yourself. <laughs> That's it. Bye. Bye. Go fruit, try some.